Hello everyone, thank you for watching my Before the Pen Spread and my A5 Bullet Journal. Starting as I always do with a blank page and some ideas in my head of how I want things to turn out, I pull out some stickers, washi tape that I already have, and I make this happen. So, I start first by using a pen to go ahead and mark out the days of the week. But this time I decided that I wanted to write the days on actual page flags to kind of give it a different accent. It's always nice when you can make things a little bit different, but yet still the same. I try and space these out as evenly as I can. It doesn't always work out that way, but it's fine with me, so I just keep going. This is such a change of pace from when I first started planning. I never thought of actually using a bullet journal as a planner. I was just like having everything preset, but then I also didn't like some of the restrictions that come with having everything preset, so that was kind of like, you know, a learning curve in and of itself. Some things I love about bullet journaling. Other things I I get tired of having to draw out everything on my own. So it's um, a balance of kind of finding what you can do and if there's other ways to kind of cheat and make stuff simpler, all for it. Once I was satisfied with how the page flags were looking and how everything aligned on each page, I went ahead and I put down some colorful boxes. I think I'm running out at this point, so I definitely will need to restock that when I get the opportunity, so. I also put down that Lady Boss's page flag and some washi tape with a Hello Today sticker because I think it's really cute to kind of accentuate those days and just plan ahead. Give yourself that extra pickup that you may need. And normally for a before the pen spread, I don't use so much detail with the decoration, but again, I just thought it was so girly and feminine, I couldn't resist. Um, I even put down a little Coffee Monsters Co. planning sticker. I think I only have one of those left. I knew I had to do some stuff on my computer, so I put a sticker from my sticker shop there. I now pretty much do laundry every single week. So I put down a laundry sticker. I had a day off sticker and I put it down. These stickers, once you put them down, you have to work quickly because they really do fasten onto a page. Um, they're not advertised to be like, you know, removable. So no crime in that and those little deco stickers are just so adorable to me
and I thought it was um, a little bit naked so I decided to add some other full accents to the spread just to kind of go with the deco sticker and just some of the other themes here and I know you know we're not in spring but I just feel like there's always time for flowers just so beautiful And ironically, this is my second time recording this because my computer acted up and literally deleted all of my uh, voiceover recording and the actual, uh, you know, put together that I had done for this video. So this is me filming it um, a second, if not a third time. So the, that's like technology for you. It deletes the things that you don't even ask it to delete for some reason. But once I pretty much have put enough deco stickers down, as far as it goes for floral stickers to accent the spread. My last and final touch that I wanted to do was going ahead and also using some washi tape to accent the colors that were there. And just to use washi tape because I have it to use and that's what it's there for. It really does help to kind of fill in some of those blank things that are, um, you can see something like visually missing. You know, when you look at something, you're like, yeah, I'm creating my own spread, but it's just, it's, it's missing something. And until you add it, you know, you know, it's like, hey, it's the washi tape. That was me realizing at that point that I'm like, hmm, something's missing. So you don't see me do it on camera, but I did add in that washi tape. And this is a completed spread, you guys. Thank you so much for watching as always. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day.